Hey, good cousins. It's Shakespeare Day. Uh, today, uh, we have a nice, sweet little scene. Um, after such a beautiful scene last week, uh, Romeo uh, goes straight to his mentor, uh, a wonderful man, uh, the friar. And um, Friar Lawrence. Uh, and it, it, it speaks very well of Romeo that his mentor is such a wise man. Uh, he's a, he's a uh, priest, um, and we meet him uh, out picking flowers and herbs uh, and uh, talking about how uh, he's all alone. Romeo's not there yet. Uh, Romeo is coming to ask Friar Lawrence to marry uh, he and, and Juliet after Juliet asks him to do so. So he's going straight uh, to get married after just talking with her the first time. Uh, and Friar Lawrence is picking herbs and flowers and he's, uh, he's saying how uh, it's interesting that the, the earth is both Mother Nature's tomb and the womb. That, it, that the earth births so much life and is also the grave of so much life, which I think is a really interesting way to put it. And as he's picking herbs, he's talking about how there's good and evil in herbs as well as people. And he's picking herbs and he's like, right in this herb, uh, if you use it in one way, it's a medicine. And if you use it in another way, it's a poison. And such is the same with people. Um, and so right away we know, oh, this guy's got it down. This guy's, uh, this guy's pretty smart and he sees things. Uh, and Romeo comes in and says, good morrow, Father. And uh, again, the friar says, what early tongue hath so sweet saluteth me? My son, it argues a distempered head, for soon to bid good morrow to thy bed. Care keeps his watch in every old man's eye, and where care lodges, sleep will never lie. But where unbruised youth with unstuffed brain doth couch his limbs, there golden sleep doth reign. Therefore thy earliness doth me assure thou art uproused with some distemperature, or if not so, then I hear I hit it right, our Romeo hath not been in bed tonight. <laughs> so young people usually don't have enough cares or worries like we old people do. You guys usually sleep pretty well, so I know sums up, but I suspect even more that you just haven't slept tonight. That's it, isn't it? And he sees right through Romeo. And Romeo's like, yeah, I haven't slept tonight. I've had a wonderful night. I've met Juliet. Uh, and I'm now in love with her, <laughs> and I want to marry her. Will you help me out? And Friar Lawrence is just like, whoa! He goes, he goes, holy Saint Francis! What a change is here! Is Rosaline that thou dost love so dear so soon forsaken? Young men's loves, young men's love then lies not truly in their hearts but in their eyes. Jesu Maria, what a deal of brine hath washed thy sallow cheeks for Rosaline. A brine meaning tears, salty tears. How much salt water thrown away in waste to season love, season like seasoning, to season love that of, that of it doth not taste. The sun hath not yet thy sighs from heaven clears, like just yesterday morning, 24 hours ago, you were sighing for Rosalind. 24 hours now, it's, Ju it's Juliet? What's her name again? The sun, the sun, not yet thy sighs from heaven clears. Thy old groans ring yet in mine ancient ears. Lo, here upon thy cheek, the stain doth sit of an old tear that is not washed off yet. It's like, I can see the residue of the tear on your cheek that you cried for Rosalind. That's how quick this all is. I love that line. Um, if ere thou wast thyself and these woes thine, thou and these woes were, were all for Rosalind. What art thou changed? <laughs> um, and so uh, this guy's a good mentor. You know, this guy's uh, not, he sees right through uh, Romeo and he's calling him out on his guff, you know. Uh, and Romeo says, thou chidest me oft for loving Rosalind. You gave me, you gave me so much guff for, for loving Rosalind. And Friar, Friar goes, for doting, not for loving people mine. 
Romeo says, and bats me bury, love. Friar goes, not in a grave to lay one in, another one out to have. So I didn't tell you to bury love for Rosalind and fall in love right away again. Romeo says, I pray thee chid me not, chide me not. Her I love now. Her I love now doth grace for grace and love for love allow. The other did not so. So he says, look, I'm improving. <laughs> this one is available. Rosalind, I was doting on someone who wasn't available because she wanted to be a nun. Now I've fallen in, someone who, fallen in love with someone who's actually in love with me. Isn't that a good thing? Friar Lawrence says, oh, she knew well thy love did read by rote that could not spell. <laughs> so... Someone who's reading by rote actually can't read. They've memorized the words and they're pretending to read. So she, uh, uh, yeah, so Rosalind was wise because she saw that you are inconstant, my man. And then he goes, but come, young waverer, come go with me. In one respect, all thy assistant be. For this alliance may so happy prove to turn your household's rancor to pure love. So he's like, okay, I... I'm going to hear you out because actually if this relationship works out and you guys get married, it may heal a lot in our tortured city. Romeo says, oh, let us haste. I stand on sudden haste. Friar says, wisely and slow, they stumble that run fast. So um, Romeo's in good hands. Romeo uh, has got a guy that he pays attention to. Uh, that is not a fool. Uh, and so we have hope that this is going to turn out well. <laughs> and that's a nice little scene. Uh, and we'll continue next week. Have a good one.